A warm welcome. The fans have plenty of reasons to be excited tonight here in North London. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's option from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. This is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. Longley. Perisic with the ball. And Hoybier with it. Moving into the advanced position. The snuffing out of the cross there and the referee has awarded a corner following that touch Playing it in. Well, still an issue here. Harry Kane! Oh, a smart stop. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Dejan Kulusevski. In situation defensively and did his job. But it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Unable to keep the ball. Tyrick Mitchell. And Edouard with it. Well, Tottenham have possession. Skip. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Chance for Son. And a good take under duress there. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Be on for them. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. 
Must be. Oh, that's a fine save. Who can they pick out? Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. Will he finish? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, there it is. Spurs have controlled the possession, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. No doubt. They go to work, moving it around again. Kane. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Odson Edouard. Could be a chance to break here. All hands on deck. Zaha. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Fabier. Now Harry Kane. Son. Fabier. The end product just wasn't there. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Harry Kane, who has emerged as one of the leading striking talents in world football, but is he going to be a bit cross with himself based on what he's produced? Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Dejan Kulusevski. Spurs pushing forward with options available. And now Perisic. Oh, good save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And a short corner, let's see. Perisic! On to Son. Kane. Determined block. Applying vigorous pressure. Son. And Hoybier with it. That's a good looking ball. And teammates to play it to. And cleared away over the byline. And a corner kick to come.
Playing it in. Struggling to get it away. Son. Determined defending. Sheikh Dukure. Ward now. Hudson Edouard. It's a good palace move in the making. But they dealt with the threat first. Well, Spurs have controlled the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Song! Keeper did his job to begin with. On a time for composure on the ball. Well, Spurs can't believe they're not leading here, but what a save that was. He's just kept his team on level terms here. Playing with plenty of zest and energy on the front foot once more. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, as you can see again, Kane plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders. And then from that sort of range, Song was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in and a change for Spurs at this juncture Ezzy. He could pick out a teammate. A wonderful intervention. Schloop. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Kane. Breaking at pace. Can they keep it going? Superbly read and executed. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, big chance. And fired against the crossbar. Well, mopping up defensively. And so into the final five minutes. Well, for a second, I thought that was going to seal it. Still enough time for an equaliser here, though. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Perisic. With Son. Okay. And the referee blows his whistle. It's full time here, and Spurs have prevailed. Your assessment? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. So, a top-level contribution from Hyung Min Son. How many times do we say that? Quite a lot is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he was a real nuisance today. He always looked a threat, and of course he got the winner. He was probably the difference between the two teams.